Uh, Mr. Frank Peterson, good to have you in Uganda and uh, as a country we are proud of your expertise because at least uh, we gather uh, some of the players, especially she corporate players, uh, the f uh, women uh, uh, footballers have benefited uh, from your expertise. Uh, there's a project coming us, uh, coming up, tell us all about the project. Now the project, project is that uh, we as a club in Denmark, we was looking for uh, a club in, in Africa, maybe more clubs and academies to, to work together with. So um, some years ago I was also doing a goalkeeper course for coaches here in in, uh, in Uganda for FUFA and then um, then I was uh, getting connections here and uh, especially Hassan, uh, the head coach in Sea Corporate and then we yeah, just start to talk about uh, how much talent there is uh, in, in female football here in Uganda. And um, yeah, as at that time, female football was growing in Europe, and uh, and now it's uh, just growing faster and faster and faster, and there's there's not players enough. So um, so we looked, we was looking for somebody to work with, and uh, I had some very good uh, conversations with um, with Richard. So uh, yeah, so so the rest is history, and now we work to, together, uh, B93 Copenhagen, and uh, and she cooperate here. Um, and we have already now transferred uh, two players, Vanessa, that is that uh, is following the plan and we, we just sold her in this uh, window, so she is now playing in FC Norseland, one of the biggest clubs in Denmark, the, that just won the cup. Um, the owners of FC Norseland is uh, the right to dream, um, that is placed in Ghana and have clubs in America and yeah, and Denmark of course, um, so there's also a lot of uh, new uh, good options for Vanessa there and um, it's also a club that I'm, I am working in and I've been working in before. A very good relation between the two clubs, B93 and FC Norseland. Um, and then we yeah, just got uh, Fiona some months ago and um, yeah, how can you say she's already now a big name in Denmark. Uh, she will leave for a much, much bigger <laughs> Plus, um, sooner, yeah, I don't know when, but, but you know, you cannot, uh, it's difficult to say what will happen in the future in football, but uh, we already have clubs that is asking us who is she. Yeah, um, yeah and, and um, we want to, um, we want to make this project bigger and bigger and bigger because uh, the, the Premier League in Denmark will go from uh, 8 to, to 10 teams, the Premier League in Sweden will go from I think it's 12 to 14 or is it 10 to 12 teams. Uh, the same will happen in Norway, um, so, so we are in a big need for players um, and uh, yeah, I, I would say I could pick 6, 8, 10 players now okay. if if the players was ready, if the clubs was ready here, if they want to work with us, uh, we are ready. Um, they just have to take contact to us. Uh, we are not agents, but we uh, but we really want to help the girls, um, and we also want to help them not to, how can you say, getting stuck with the agents that is only looking at them at their own bank accounts, um, because it, it's a matter of getting the players to Europe. Uh, it's also okay to go to Tanzania and also go to go to uh, Kazakhstan and Russia and wherever I can see your female players are playing. But it's not the right place to be if you want to take care of yourself and your family in the future. Because as a football player, especially a female football players, you will not earn that much uh, as a as a male player and uh, the the. The years that you can work is uh, is short, so so you have as, as soon as you get to the right place in a club, the better. And um, Denmark, Sweden, and Norway is a very good place to be as a player because that is where the bigger leagues are looking for for to do it, to doing a good uh, a good business because the players are chill, still cheap to buy from Denmark or Norway to England to Germany uh, to France or wherever. Um, so yeah, my suggestion to the players here should be don't look at don't look at how much you can get now if somebody in Kazakhstan or Russia is calling you. Look at what you can make of money in two, three, four years time, uh, and uh, what is best for you and your family. Okay, uh, uh, just to top on that, it's good that you're exporting uh, talent from Uganda 
Uh, in a bit also to develop talent because uh, the women game, women football is growing at a uh, fast rate nowadays. You can see the FIFA World Cup is about to start. Yeah, also 10 years down the road, uh, Uganda is not to participate in international uh, tournaments. So also to promote uh, football at the grassroots. There's a project you talked about that you need land here. Yes, you need to build, uh, you need to have a girls academy. Out of that academy, you can uh, incorporate a women's football team. Uh, what's your take on that? Uh, yeah, I have a meeting later today with uh, Richard, so I cannot give you the full update uh, on what, what's going on. But but I am, when I'm, when I'm here and when I'm around here, I am out watching uh, schools playing football. Uh, I am out, invited out to small uh, academies uh, or what they call it. Um, what's very important to, to understand is that there's so many academies uh, for boys and then they probably also have some girls playing. But the focus is on the boys because uh, those coaches and owners, they are looking at, at uh, a smart business. And, and for sure, if you can sell a boy now, you will get much more money than if you can sell a girl. But what we want is that we want a female academy, not a female and boys academy because we need to have the focus only on the girls and for the girls. Um, last week I was in uh, Mozambique and we, uh, we opened, uh, we, we, we signed with a club, uh, just like we have here in the uh, Chief Corporate in Uganda, and same time we opened uh, a girls academy from uh, 11 to 15 years old. Uh, we, if there is somebody at 8 or 9 or 10 that is good and wants to play football, of course we also take the girl in. Um, and, and then on the senior team, they are from 16 and up. And we have 30 girls uh, from 11 to 15. Uh, and it's organized, they have their own grass pitch and it's a really good one. And, and uh, the senior team is playing on carpet. So, so now we are having our own pipeline instead of we have to go to uh, other clubs and uh, buy players. Now we have them in-house uh, and, and that is a good business. Uh, especially when we sell Vanessa, when we sell Fiona, when we sell the next one and the next one. The money that we get for the players in Denmark, a lot of them is going back to the academy here. So so the, the academy will, will, will be a, a business that is, um, how can you say, the players that are so lucky that they can leave are paying for for the young girls' future here, so they have a place to uh, to play football and getting educated as a football player and also as a human being. Okay, okay. I think you so in uh, case anyone wants to reach you, can you share your email address uh, for any feedback? Uh, I, I'm saying in case uh, someone wants to reach you in uh, any partner. Uh, kindly provide them your email for any feedback. You can of feedback. course uh, give yeah. them my email. We are always open for uh, for talking about business. Uh, I will say that um, there's no agents or uh, or people like that that need to contact me. We do not work with agents at all. Um, so of course you can give my WhatsApp number and you can also give uh, give my email address you, to. You to can email. mention your email here because this is my going email viral. Is, is, mm. um, uh, Frank, and then it's uh, what do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> dash. <laughs> yeah, dash. And then it's um, uh, J, yeah. and it's a four, mm. K, and then dot N U. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks, Mr. Frank. Pleasure meeting in Uganda and uh, all the best in your endeavors. You're welcome. Yeah.